What we're seeing in organizations that are forced into transformation or perhaps ones that are dragged into transformation is that today the idea that you can transform a whole corporation or a whole uh, division of a corporation is, is not really as attainable as transforming an organization piece by piece. So if you take uh, a division or, or even a subsector of a division and say how can we use that and transform that particular uh, activity as an opportunity to then have an impact on the whole organization transforming the whole organization so for example we've been working with uh, organizations that have uh, they may be resistant to change uh, because they're a bureaucratic or they have bureaucratic way of thinking so how do we as advisors go in and force transformation on the, all, all, the whole organization? And today, it's usually through very specific, um, um, very specific projects that then have a transformative effect. Because a lot of uh, tr tremendous, you would be surprised at the tremendous amount of resistance to change there is. Not only ingrained resistance, but uh, from the, the person, the personalities that are in charge or, or in control of an organization. But the whole idea of change, people are adverse to change largely. They don't like to change. It's not something that we are particularly well equipped to do or do we adapt well to do it. And here we are, we're living in a chaotic economy and, and, and time where we are being forced to change. So anyway, how do you transform then an organization that is an economic entity in one way or another. I think today we're seeing piece by piece transformation of specific activities within an organization. For example, if you need to transform your workplace or your workforce, you probably need to focus on training, recruitment, maybe getting rid of people. But you need to really focus on what the types of uh, personal or personnel assets you need in order for your company to function effectively in the future. So you would take that on as a, as a specific transformative goal and exercise. Then as you transform something as specific as that, it could have an impact on the whole, whole organization, the way it's managed and the success of it. So transformation through very, for the whole, through change on very specific parts of the organization. It's sort of like taking, if, if you go back to that image of a sieve, it's taking a lot of different types of information, assets, people, and putting it through a milling process so that at the end it's a combination of all those factors that comes out into a result which is something entirely different. Sometimes we can control what comes out at the other end, and sometimes we can't. We're looking for really the aha moment, which is what strategy is all about.